Hello everyone and welcome back to another mini tutorial session here on Ghost Paper. And for today's video we're going to be recreating uh, this, this effect that you see here on the screen. We're going to be creating some typography that looks as much as it can a very convincing 3D application on Procreate 5. And a big shout out to Kelly's Mind, I believe that's how you pronounce her handle on Instagram. That's where I got the idea to make this tutorial. I saw her doing something very similar, but she does it in a super fast motion. There's no VO, there's nothing. So this is going to be uh, my best attempt at trying to explain this effect step by step to you guys. All right, so let's just start with a new file. So I'm just gonna go back into my gallery, make a new canvas here so we can start from scratch. And for my background, we are going to go with that pink color. Now back into actually the actions menu, we're going to add some text and I'm just gonna type hit caps if I can here. Wow, uh, we're going to edit style and I gotta change this to, I'm actually going to change to one of the first colors that we have here, okay. So I'm just gonna, oops, pull back a bit so we can see what's happening. I have to go back into my text layer and edit text and we're going to make this much bigger. Just drag this around. Okay. So something like this. Now I'm gonna to have to turn on my drawing guides. Uh, I have to probably go into edit drawing guide and make sure that they are very visible because it never shows up uh, with the uh, opacity that I use. It never shows up as well in the video, so you, you really can't see much. Uh, so we're just going to do something like this for now. And uh, I'll probably scale up just a little bit. All right. So let's go back into the edit text because I actually did notice, yeah, I probably want the bold version of this font. So now that we got our primary layer right here, I'm just gonna go back into drawing guide, turn off drawing guides. We're going to duplicate our text layer, go back into edit text. And one of the biggest tricks here that I thought it was really cool is that we can just hit the outline version here. Actually, before I hit the outline version, I'm going to change the color to a yellowish color. And now if we hit the outline version, we get almost for free we get the text as a fill, and we also get the yellow as the outline color. And that's what we're going to start using as uh, to in order to help us even create that effect of 3D even further. So now that we have our first two layers of text, we're going to start adding some depth and dimension to our text. So I'm gonna click on the bottom layer, which is our base uh, layer, which is the orange one. I'm going to duplicate, and now this guy, I'm going to click on the layer and click rasterize. Um, now, in terms of color, I am actually going to choose a different color so you can see what happens. So I'm gonna click on this font, hit select, then go back here again, click on the font again, click fill layer, so it fills with the blue color. And now with that layer that we just created, selected, we're gonna go into adjustments, motion blur. And motion blur is a really cool trick because even with an amount somewhere around 40%, so 40% motion blur, make sure that you put it in, a, in an angle. Actually, I'm gonna do it this side. And about 40 to 45%. Okay, gonna hit okay. And just move that down as this was almost like the extrusion of our letters. I'm gonna leave it like that. And now on this layer that we created and blurred, we're gonna click on that layer once again, hit select, go back into our layer, go back into our layers panel, create a new layer, turn off that motion blurred uh, layer, and now into our brushes layer, make sure they use the soft brush in the airbrushing section. Now also make sure that you're using the biggest size brush and the 100% opacity on that brush. And why is that? It's because we're going to start painting on that selection. But as you can see, because that layer was blurred, it has a lot of opacity into it. But the more that we keep painting, as you can see here on the screen, and you can even just tap your pencil onto the canvas, the more and more you keep painting, you'll see that it becomes more and more solid, like almost 
the exact effect that we want, which is the extrusion of that letter. So I would say we can stop right here. And now, as you can see, I probably need to move this just a little bit more so that it looks a little bit more convincing. Okay, so now that we have the 3D depth applied to the letters, it's time to start creating more depth into the scene. So now we're going to click on our first layer and also duplicate that. And this one I am going to, before I rasterize, I'm going to click Edit Text, go into the color section, make sure it is a very dark color, hit OK. And now we can move just a little bit over. Let me actually zoom in. So something like this. And now we're going to go again into Motion Blur. We're going to add just a little bit of depth like probably about 10%. And now we can just click on this layer, select multiply, and just bring down the opacity to about 45 to 50%. So we have to go now into our eraser brush, and I'm not gonna use a, an airbrush because I actually want to be able to have a little bit more control. We're just going to erase the parts that are floating outside the um, the orange section. So basically, this is an inner shadow. We've created some inner shadow from the yellow outlines. So we're deleting these uh, sections right here, all these parts. And we're going to do the same for all of the letters right here. OK. and the last W as well. All right. So now that we have that, we are going to once again duplicate our orange layer. Click on the layer, rasterize, we're probably going to fill, uh, hit select, go back into layers panel, click on the layer, select fill. With the black color, we're going to bring it all the way down to the bottom. And we're also going to move that to about the end of our uh, text layer, which is now at the, at the bottom of the blue section. So now that we're here, I'm going to go into Adjustments menu, and we're again going to do Motion Blur. But this time, we're going to put like a good amount, about, once again, 50%, going the other way. OK, so now we're going to move that. I'm actually going to turn off Magnetics. It's a little easier for me to move this thing. OK, right about here. and we are going to uh, do the same trick once again. So I'm just going to erase a few parts that probably don't need to be here. Like the top parts right here. We're going to hit select, click on the plus for a new layer, turn off that selection that we had, go back into the brushes, soft brush, maximum size, maximum opacity, and onto that new layer, once again, we're going to start painting over and over, trying to get the most solid shape that we can get for now. OK, so now that we have this, we're going to our adjustments, hue, and sa hue saturation, brightness, turn off brightness, turn off saturation, just trying to get the edges a little bit better. Go back into our layers panel and changing normal mode to multiply and bringing down the opacity to about 25% or even 20%. So basically, guys, this is the, um, the basic premise to create this effect. We can right now keep expanding on this. We can make uh, you know, like some really lighter uh, bits at the top of the letters. We can create some shading on the side of the word and create all sorts of cool effects. But I just wanted to give you the basic premise on how to actually make some 3D letters or 3D words on Procreate 5. If you are interested in going a little bit deeper into this tutorial, 
I'm going to be making an extended version of this tutorial, especially doing all of the things that I was just mentioning, like brighten up certain bits, adding more shading to the letters. And this one I'm going to be posting on Gumroad for you to check it out. Also in the Gumroad link, guys, I'm going to be providing this Procreate file right here, which you'll be able to download and uh, actually study layer by layer and group by group in all of the things, uh, all of these steps that I've actually added to this illustration. So you're really going to be able to uh, learn from all of its layers how to actually create this more advanced illustration of the same technique. So make sure to check the Gumroad link that is on the description of this video. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, a like would be super appreciated. As well as make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more tips and tricks, tutorials, and speed paint videos. And that is all for you to become a better digital illustrator. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.